Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video we are going to review together how you can apply gameplay effects with your skills. So we are going to open up a skill, uh, for instance BB Thrust for me, and any skill you want. Uh, they all feature the same kind of gameplay effect. You can apply this, this, the, the gameplay effect with any skills. I'm just going to get rid of previous uh, tut remain the remains of previous tutorials, and we're going to right-click and type in feature, and add over it effects mm, it effects these ones feature it effects like this. And it's giving you some other some functions to override, and it's giving you feature it effect, and that's what we want. The other functions are for other videos. So these are the base functions you can call to apply gameplay effects with your skills. So we've already been through apply damage. We actually so we are going to review. As you could see, there are two array of functions, one with the simple word and the other none, not. So we're just going to review the, the simple one real quick. What's the difference between the simple and the simple version of apply damage? Uh, so this one is the unreal one. We don't want the unreal one. We want our apply damage function. The difference, so we don't want that either, we want simple apply damage like this. So what's the difference between the two? All the parameters you can see there, I wrap them up in the function simple apply damage. If we double click that, it's, it's bringing us to the function. And in this function, we are just using, we are just calling the apply damage function, but I all, I've already plugged a lot of things inside to simplify our logic. So in this video, we're just going to review the complex version of the gameplay applying effects. So we want the feature, the heat effects, and we want to apply cleans. We want to bring them all actually. So I just want to copy and paste this for now. I'm going to call this like that and we are we also have a simple apply knockback but we so this is so this should be fixed i will be i will fix this we should have a simplified and standard version i believe oh we only uh, we only have the simple one we unlo we only have a simple way to apply a knockback a knockback that's that's why we only have we only have that version, so I'm going to explain that as, that as well. So with your skill, what can you do? Whenever you use a finders, we've been through the finders in previous videos, whenever, whenever you use a finder, it's giving you uh, an array of found results, and you, you can plug this to all the target nodes of the apply effect functions. For instance, if you want to apply cleans to all the targets in the box, you can say apply cleans. Cleans is purging all statues of a type. So you can purge all bonus or all malus on the targets, on all targets you found. And this applies, you can connect targets uh, with for every nodes like you did with the cleans. And then we're going to review the different parameters you have to set up for calling these nodes. So the targets, obviously. What type of statues is to remove. You can specify the source. What is the source? It's the actor responsible for the cleans. So maybe it's a projectile, maybe it's a user, maybe it's a spawned actor in the world, maybe it's, I don't know, a, a statue. Uh, a trap, a static effect, whatever, it can be whatever. The it fix, what should, what sound fix and visual fx should be played when 
for every target hit. And the sound effect is only going to play once, and the visual effects is going to play once per once per target. And what visual effects to play if we find a blocking hit in the list of targets? And the gameplay tags, these are the bitmask. Drag a wire out of this, typing make bitmask, then you click the bitmask and you say the bitmask is a skill, is a gameplay tag. Then you can specify that you are applying a cleanse with the gameplay tag physical. And maybe, maybe I don't know, the, the target of your cleanse is immune to physical, uh, physical cleanses and it's not going to receive that. I don't know. Of course, you are, you will need to, to, to code what I just said. It's not built in MCE. Even if a lot of things are built in, there are no built in immunity functions. So this is it for the cleanse node. We can go over the damage node real quick. Who is supposed to, to take damage, the targets? How, how much damage? What is the source of the damage? Uh, like for the cleanse, uh, it can be anything, a trap, a projectile, whatever. The, the gameplay tags. So for this one, it's a little bit more straightforward than for the cleanse. For instance, if you say you are dealing physical damage, maybe, maybe the enemy has a stat armor which has which reduces damage from physical and magical or magical damage for for instance and like cleanse uh, what what visual and sound effects to spawn and when you hit someone or when you, when you get blocked by by a collision the ill is going to be pretty much the same it's the exact same parameters, except you're going to heal the target, basically. Apply status is going to be creating a new status. So maybe you don't have a status created yet, but you can use the built-in status. Uh, if you do not have any row there, you can, I mean, sometimes I created a lot of example status and they should be appearing there, but maybe, maybe they are not appearing for you. That's because they are not loaded by the by the editor and we need to load them and to force load them all you have to do is to go to your serp to go to the root of your folder to your content browser the root of your folder uh, filter for blueprint class then control a to select everything right click and it's going to load everything so maybe it's going to take a while uh, it depends on your computer obviously I hope it's not going to take a while for me. I think it is going to to load real fast in theory. And it's going to and the next time you're going to click that drop down menu, every example status I are I created are going to be available for you. So for instance, I created a frozen and a burning effect and if you go to your status you will see all the statues are created. So if you apply statues to, the, to these targets, they are going to be affected by that statues. If they have a combat manager, of course. The source is the same than for damage, etc. You can specify what is the, the actor responsible for, for the, the statues. And it affix blocking affix and gameplay tag, the same than the other functions. And for the knockback, the knockback, what is this? It's uh, it's propulsing, it's repelling someone towards the direction you are specifying. So, for instance, towards that location, or to that dis and to that distance and speed. I think speed speed is in meters by second, and distance is in unreal units, so centimeters. And direction, you can specify, you can normalize that vector. It doesn't matter. I think it, do, it, it doesn't matter how much you specify. For instance, it's going to be forward, uh, a little bit to the left, a little bit uh, above, uh, and to, towards the, the, the sky, for instance. Uh, and at three meters at high speed, for instance, less than one second. Let's say double, double the distance, for instance. 
And that's how you can apply. That's how you can apply gameplay effects to your targets using skills. So it's going to wrap up the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.